Hello, welcome to story time. Um, this time I'm going to read a book by a gal that I met online through one of our writing groups and her name is Lori Fortino. And I read this book online and I ordered it from her and she sent me a copy and autographed it for me. And what I love about this book is the wonderful illustrations. I don't really know how to pronounce the illustrator's name. His name is Bong Radilla. Something like, like that. I'm sorry. I probably butchered it. But he's from the Philippines and the pictures are just spectacular. Um, if you love watercolors, just, just the whole style of the book is just so much fun. So I wanted to share it with you. And once again, it's called The Peddler's Bed and it's by Lori Fortino. And Lori also has a blog for children about children's books called Frog on a Blog. So if you're at all interested in that, I'm sure she would love to have you join her on her blog. So once again, Peddler's Bed. Aren't those, aren't those illustrations just spectacular? I just, I can't get enough of them. One afternoon, a little man was working in his tiny garden next to his small house when he heard squeak, squeak, squeak. He saw a peddler driving his cart along the narrow road. The little man's dog, Happy, barked a friendly greeting. The peddler stopped his cart and climbed down from his seat. It's a fine day, he said. Truly, answered the little man, and it's a fine bed you have there in your cart. I crafted the bed from the hardy oak trees that grew on the other side of the hill, said the peddler, and I filled the mattress with the softest goose down feathers. How wonderful, said the little man. The bed is so sturdy that I guarantee it will never squeak, said the peddler. Never squeak, echoed the little man. All beds squeak a bit. Not this one. Let me show you. The peddler slid his oak bed down onto the road. Then he stepped on top of it and jumped up and down several times. The fine, strong bed did not squeak. Not once. That is a remarkable bed, said the little man. It's for sale, said the peddler, at a very fair price. No doubt, said the little man, but I haven't even one penny to give you for it. The peddler paused for a moment and then he said, I'll make you a deal. If you can think of a way to make my oak bed squeak by sunset, it will be yours. The little man's face lit up. I have never owned such a fine bed in all my life, he said. Come, have a seat in the shade of my porch. Yes, thank you, answered the peddler. The little man went to his house to fetch a cup. Squeak, 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 sounded the door of the small shabby house. He went to his water pump. Squeak, 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 twang the pump. He filled the cup with cool water and gave it to the peddler. Then he filled a dimpled bucket for the peddler's pony and a bowl for Happy. Now, how shall I make the fine bed squeak, he thought aloud. Happy chased a field mouse out of the garden. Squeak, 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 chirped the mouse. Hmm, uttered the little man. He scooped the tiny mouse up and placed it upon the bed. The bed was so snug that the wee creature curled up and fell asleep. Oh, well, said the little man as he patted Happy's head. It's getting near supper time, he said to the peddler. Do come in and have a bite to eat. I'd be delighted, answered the peddler. There's a little mouse sound asleep. Instead of making the bed squeak, he's asleep. Have a seat at my table, said the little man. Squeak, 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 creaked the chair as the peddler sat down. I'll fix us some soup, said the little man. He 
He went to his garden and dug up some potatoes, carrots, and onions. He gave some of the carrots to the peddler's pony. He returned to the house. The little man made a fire. He hung a pail of water above it. He cut up the vegetables and dropped them into the pail. Squeak, 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 chimed the pail as it swung above the fire. He unwrapped a few scraps of meat. He cut a piece for Happy and put the rest into the pail. Before long, the soup was ready. The little man pressed his hands together and gave thanks for all that he had and for his good company. The day is nearly over. I can't think of any way to make your remarkable bed squeak, he said to the peddler. Ah, answered the peddler, it's no use. My fine sturdy bed will never squeak. Nonetheless, said the little man, Happy and I are sure glad to have your company, and I'm grateful for your warm welcome, answered the peddler. The peddler looked around at the humble one-room house. The little man's bed was nothing more than a pile of frayed, moth-eaten blankets in a corner near the fireplace. It will be dark soon, he said, and I must go to bed. It will be dark soon, he said, and I must get back on the road. Would you like to sit on my fine bed before I go? I would very much, answered the little man. Squeak, 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 sounded the door of the small shabby house as the peddler and the little man headed outside. It's a fine evening, said the little man. Yes, indeed, said the peddler, and the little man sat upon the edge of the fine oak bed. I would like to lie down for just a moment, he said. Soon the little man was asleep. Squeak, 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 sang his nose as he breathed. Some people snore and some people have a little squeak. He had a little squeak. The peddler smiled as he carefully pushed the bed with the little man upon it onto the porch of the small shabby house. But the little man did not stir, for he was in a deep sleep on that comfortable bed. The peddler patted Happy on the head and then climbed into his cart. He clucked to his pony and started off down the narrow road. Squeak, 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 sang the little man's nose as he slept. Squeak, 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 echoed the wheels on the peddler's cart as it disappeared around the bend. And this glorious picture is of the peddler going around the bend. It's really cool trees. So the peddler decided that the little man with all of his kindness and serving him dinner and just being such a good person, even though and he was the old man was thankful for what he had, even though he didn't have much. Um, so the peddler, out of his kind soul, when he heard the, the little man snoring on the bed and his nose sounded like squeaking, he did indeed make a squeak sound from the bed. So he gave it to the, the little man and then he was on his way. So it's all about kindness. And I just, I love this book. So thank you, Lori, for, for writing this. Everybody have a great night.